guys, Georgia Boy here with just a quick video on the Caldwell Zero Max shooting rest uh, that I picked up here the other day. Uh, I've been looking at getting a, a shooting rest. I'm normally shooting off my range bag, but I wanted a little something different, but I wanted it lightweight and easy to transport. So the lead sled was out, uh, some of the big heavy Caldwell shooting bags or I wasn't interested in those. I saw some uh, of the plastic type three leg uh, rest at Academy. I almost bought one but then I came by this one at Tractor Supply. It was about 29 bucks. Waited for it to go on clearance. They took a few bucks off and so I picked it up. And uh, it gets good reviews. Uh, one of the things that was mentioned, as you can see, with it coming straight back, sitting your uh, stock in there, if you're using an AR with a 30 round mag or a pistol grip or a lever action, that could cause problems. But uh, wow, that is the easiest fix, just looking at the gun. Especially if you're like me and you really aren't interested in putting the stock in here, but you would rather sit it on a a uh, bag, a squeeze bag. So let's get it out and see what it looks like. All right, here it is. It's all put together. It's got a powder coated uh, tubular frame, lightweight, easy adjustments. Uh, this is a standard, one of their standard Caldwell bags that Velcro's on. If you uh, ever damage it or need another one. This back here, the rear rest, this V-notch has a nice nylon webbing and it adjusts, it's bendable. You can close it up or spread it out wide. That way you're not rubbing your stocks on some of your uh, uh, nicer walnut stock guns. So let's now put the AR in it and we'll see. it. The pistol grip and the mag hit the bar. And if you put your lever gun there, uh, that's going to cause an issue. Being able to work your lever, which is no big deal, lift the rear of the gun up and work the lever. Now, with rim fires, bolt actions, you know, 22s and stuff like that, you can rest them in the stock and not worry about this. But it, it will be an issue with an AR or a lever action but that is the easiest fix, especially if you want a bag back here like I do. So stand by and we'll fix Okay, this. here's the fix. Loosen the bolt, cant your arm over out of the way, tighten it back down, and put your bag under the back. Now you can get behind the gun, you can work the lever, it's not going to interfere with your magazines on your AR or your pistol grip. Why people were complaining about that beats me, but that's like the easiest thing in the world. So you've got options. Uh, you've got a solid adjustable rest on the front, sandbag on the rear, or you can just, for other guns, put it right back in the middle where it goes. So that seems like a good rest for the money, 30 bucks or less, a slight weight and transportable. So it's what I'm gonna use the next time I'm out on the range shooting for groups. So there you go, if you're interested, this is called the Caldwell Zero Max. It's like a pretty, pretty good little rest for the money. You guys have a good day.